show and with us we've got the mayor Robert Matthews and, the mayor. and uh, hey everyone T, joke of the week Frankie and D. as you know in our Labor Day show we have the winner of our t-shirt contest and this year it's Jim McCullough Jim come on in have a seat hey good to see hey, you Ross. Jim good to see you glad you're back good to see you Jim there's one thing missing you, you, you know you need a hat oh okay Don McLaughlin's going to be mad I'm taking this off. So, all right, here we go. Okay, very good. Thank you. A little bit too small. Now we're all set. Jim, tell us a little bit about yourself. Well, I'm a supermarket manager, and I work in Nassau County. And we've been coming down to Seaside for oh, many years. We started the first summer we came down was in 1965. And uh, in 1992, we bought a house on 6th Avenue, and unfortunately, we sold it last year because of the effects of Superstorm Sandy. But uh, I always, there's always a place in my heart for Seaside. Always is. It, always uh, is. You know, it'll always be there. Good. We're glad to have you here. I understand that uh, there's a little bit of history with your father in Seaside. Well, yeah, well, before we bought the house on 6th Avenue, we rented it, and on Bayview there was a bar, and. Uh, my father and my aunt and uncle and my mom used to go there on the weekends where there was live music. Yeah. And they liked the music and I guess they liked a couple of drinks. And uh, they were in there one night and my father was a retired police lieutenant and at the time he was a detective on the forgery squad. And they went into the bar and he saw somebody that he looked familiar and he wasn't quite sure who it was. And it wound up to be a gentleman named, well, I don't know if he's a gentleman, named Bobby Williamson. And what had happened, Bobby Williamson was a fugitive. He was in a police shootout, and he got shot. He was in the hospital, and he escaped. He ripped all the tubes out of his arms and his nose, and he escaped. And so my father finally realized who it was. But in the meantime, he had left. And he was driving around with my mom, looking for the car that he saw them going. And, and the Seaside Park police stopped him and wanted to know what they were doing. So he explained that what was going on and so the police officers sent out a dragnet looking for this gentleman in the car and uh, Aaron McConsolis was a lieutenant then and uh, they found the gentleman and uh, after a little skirmish they uh, arrested him. Beautiful. Yeah, yeah. Interesting. And, uh, and as a matter of fact, the Bobby Williamson had shot my dad's partner. Uh, oh wow. Yeah, so, oh, so uh, that he, was uh, justice served. Yes, yes, yep. yes. And uh, last year we started having, a, we had a trivia contest and we, we did it on the phone, people called in. This year we're going to do it live with the audience, but we want to do a beach report first and then we'll come back and we'll ask some trivia questions of Jim. Russ, you want to find somebody to do a beach report? You wait right here, I'll be right back. All right. Russ, are you there, are you there yet? <laughs> yeah! Take it away! Hi, young lady, what's your name? Sue Masorley. Sue Masorley, where do you live? 81 Lafayette. Seaside Park. Oh, you're a full-time person here? Yes. Oh, boy, okay. <laughs> uh, <laughs> uh, retired? Yes. Okay, what did you do? I was a nurse. A nurse? Yes. My heart is feeling funny lately. You know, I don't want to say nothing, but... <laughs> no, we're okay. We're That's okay. good. <laughs> uh, where did you live? Philly. Philly? And we came down here for many summers with my husband and loved the beach, loved the people, and... We we're going to retire. He said that's a good place to retire. We bought a house. And it's a love great it place since. to retire. It is fabulous. Well, I can only convince my wife of the same thing. I got it made. <laughs> but I guess not. Okay. Um, everybody in the family is in good shape? Good shape. Yep. Everybody comes down and visit you just to go to the beach? Just to go, of course, just to go oh, to the beach. What else? Yes. What else? <laughs> yes. Okay. Thank you very much. Thank, Thank you. Thank you, Russ. Another wonderful beach report. I thought it was pretty good this time. I thought it was great. <laughs> okay. And now I think we're going to open it up for some trivia questions. And 
Let's see, is there anybody in the audience who's got some trivia questions? All right, that gentleman in the blue shirt. Who was the mayor of Seaside Park in 1973 during the 75th anniversary? That was Joseph Delaney. And the reason I remember that is after the celebration which took place on the Borough Open Lawn, uh, he came to the house and asked us how we enjoyed ourselves and what we thought of uh, the celebration. All right. So we have another question in the audience. Where was the Western Union building located in Seaside Park? Well, it was an office and it was located where uh, the B&B hardware shop was before it became the B&B hardware shop and later Eckerd's and now it's, uh, what, I don't know what it is. <laughs> All right. Thank you. Let's see. I think we have time for one right. more question. We have a young lady over there. Yeah. You have to stick, come a little closer because we okay. want to make sure we get the... Uh, I was just wondering if you know where the Bayview Inn is, or was, and why did it close? That was on the Bay in between 5th and 6th Avenue, and it burnt down. That's the reason why it closed. All right, and I think we got time for one last question. What, uh, when you give a lawyer Viagra, what happens? I'm not quite sure, but maybe Frankie T has an answer to that one. Frankie T. Uh, he grows taller. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Frank. Frank's always got the answer. All right, and uh, the mayor last week had talked about the crafts fair, and uh, he put his money where his mouth is, and you can take a look at these pictures, and here's the mayor making a purchase at the fair. And there's a couple more stands, uh, a lot of people. It uh, was pretty good. Russ, did you uh, get over there and buy anything? I did Personally, I did not be able to get in there because I couldn't find a parking space. So I dropped my wife off and the rest of the family. They went and bought stuff at the fair. All right. Nothing for me, but they bought <laughs> stuff for themselves. That's good, as long as they enjoyed it and supporting the community here. They did. All right. Uh, Russ, you did a beach babe earlier? Yes. Let's go to the beach babe now. Nice beach babes. Check it out. Hi, everybody. This is Russ. We're down here at the 5th Avenue Pier, or 14th Avenue Pier. Uh, look, I found two beautiful girls over here. Uh, where are you from? Oh, first of all, what's your name? Dana. Alyssa. Dana and Alyssa. All right. Where are you from? Montville. 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 What are you doing all the way down here? We have a shore house. We're coming to visit my grandma and grandpa. Grandma and grandpa. Mm -hmm. They're good, huh? Yeah. They, they take care of everything. Yep. Very good. And then you're going to go to the beach? Yes. Okay. Mm -hmm. What are you going to do on the beach? Swim and lay out. <laughs> Swim and lay out on the beach. All right. Of course. Tan. I got to have a tan. That's the way to do it. Um, okay. So what grade are we in? Juniors in high school. Both? Junior. Of, yeah. Juniors. All right. Fantastic. Uh, what are you going to study for? I want to be a teacher. Teacher. Dentistry. Dentistry. Oh, we're going to have smart teachers and a new dentist hanging around the corner here. All right. That's fantastic. Girls got beautiful shapes. Just give me a twist around. That was beautiful, beautiful. All right. Two lovely young ladies, right? I thought they did very good. Absolutely. And uh, it wouldn't be complete without going to Frankie T and the joke of the week. Take it away, Frank. Frankie T with the joke of the week. First, from the Seaside Online News Department, NASA has just announced that they opened up a restaurant on the moon. It's been there for a month and the reviews are in. The food is great, but there's no atmosphere. <laughs> Some local news, local news, uh, police department was broken into last night. All the toilet seats were stolen. The police are baffled. They don't have anything to go on. <laughs> I went to my psychiatrist this past week, I, I, I felt really strange, I go into him I said, Doc, I, said, I don't know what's wrong with me, but I feel like I'm a pair of curtains. He says, relax, pull yourself together. <laughs> my Uncle Bob, my Uncle Bob wasn't feeling good, he had a terrible pain in his leg. He goes to the doctor and the doctor says, uh, I'm sorry, but the leg is really bad, it's going to have to be amputated. So he goes to the hospital and after the operation's over, the doctor comes in and says, well I have some good news and I have some bad news. And Uncle Bob says, well, give me the bad news first. He says, well, I amputated the wrong leg. But the good news is, your bad leg is getting better. 
Knock, knock. Who's there? Fornication. Fornication, who? Fornication like this, you should wear a Seaside Online uh, t-shirt. Hey! Knock, knock. Who's there? Caesar. Caesar who? Caesar now, before she gets away. <laughs> knock, knock. Who's there? Arch. Arch who? Gesundheit. <laughs> knock, knock. Who's there? Wayne. Wayne who? Wayne's expected later, so bring an abuela. <laughs> knock, knock. Who's there? Annapolis. Annapolis who? Annapolis of fruit. Oh. <laughs> knock, knock. Who's there? Andrew. Andrew who? Andrew, a nice picture. Next year, you got to wait for more. Thank you, Frank. Thank you, Frank. I'm going to have to do a lot of editing. <laughs> Some. And uh, last but not least, and uh, we were certainly happy to have him uh, as part of the show this year, the Mayor, Robert Matthews. Thank you, Doc, and thank you, Russ. So what a great summer we had here in Seaside Park with all the events and the different happenings that were going on. And I was privileged to bring... Uh, the attention to the, those events that we had planned throughout the summer from Memorial Day right through to Labor Day. But it's not over yet because we still have September. And next week, in, uh, for the first weekend in September, Saturday the 6th, we have insane inflatables. And that'll be on the beach. It'll be over a mile of beach used for insane inflatables. And there'll be a competition, obstacle course, and we'll have many people that will be participants, and those will also be will be um, uh, viewers and observers. Then after that, the next week, the 13th, we'll have the Marzac Run. That's a, a Marine Corps sponsored support system uh, for uh, Marine Corps veterans and uh, we expect to have a couple of thousand people here to support that. So come on down on the 13th for the Marzac Marine Corps Run and Walk. And then finally at the end of the month on the 20th, we're going to have the Seaside Park Truck Show. The truck show will be up in the parking lots on Ocean Avenue where many of the events were held this summer. So many things are still going on and we will hope that you're part uh, participating and, and uh, enjoy all the things that we have programmed for Seaside Park. And now, and again, I, I was privileged to, uh, to be a part of the show this year and I want again thank Doc and, uh, and uh, Russ for it. And I'd like them to come forward because I have a special presentation to them. <laughs> Doc and Russ, this is one of our coveted and prestigious community builder certificates. And I'd like to just present this to SeasideOnline.com. And the citation says, for creative broadcasting and humorous promotion of the great happenings which took place in our community during summer 2014. So thanks Thank for all you your much. good work. Thank you very much. We'll have Thank you for well. your good Thank work. We'll have that framed and hanging in the tiki bar. And, 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 and that, if that's the place, that, <laughs> there, there it shall be. But we thank you very much for all the uh, great promotion that you did for our town. And, and thank everyone else for participating. Thank and you, man. in closing, uh, we just want to thank really everybody who's participated in the show and our fans. I thank Russ, uh, the mayor. I thank uh, hey, Mr. Everyone. Joke of the Week, Frankie T, Frankie T. and uh, Russ's son Rob has helped us out. My son has helped us out on occasion. So uh, thank you to everybody. We're looking forward to coming back and seeing you next year. And after the show runs, we're going to put up on the, on the web will be the best of Seaside Online. And that will run through until next Memorial Day when we do this again. With that, have a good day. Take care, everybody. Right. Thank you very much.